do love a good sunset. It's always worth taking five minutes out of your day just to sit back and enjoy that. Just a minute or two. Then, back to this thing. This will be the carb heat selector from the throttle there. So you've got the throttle and then it's an easy reach down to that one. Um, rather than up here because then you've got to get your way around the throttle and mixture um, yeah I'm happy where that's going to sit it's not locked in yet but that's where we're going to go um, cable going from there mixture cable going from here there won't be a mixture control in the front seat uh, there'll be a throttle that's what that links there for goes up to that throttle up the front there um, my elevator trim so nose down, nose up, and trim, you know, neutral, and there's a throttle, uh, a friction there, you can screw it down and lock it in, and it goes out the back to the cable. Um, yeah, we're getting there slowly, little bits. Now that I know what engine I'm using and where it, I, I can nut out where everything's gonna go. Seat belts are in on the rear cockpit, and Put a little bit of a backrest there. It's there's it's only just a cover there. I need to put a little bit of a back support in there or something like that. Just something little, um, just to help with that. And I've started with a. It's just a rubber hose cut but, um, as a anti bash device, and I'll, I'll I'll seal that in later once this skins down. Because at the moment I can take it off and I want to do that, leave that as long as I can because of all the instruments and wiring and hose, fuel lines and stuff like that. So it'd be nice to have that come off. Um, front stick is in. So, um, not pretty, but it'll do. This is one of the panels. Uh, I made another one, it's already fitted. So that sits inside the fuselage and the bell, um, the, the bell crank sits here. Just supports to stop it from flopping about. Um, I'll show you in a sec anyway in the, the fitted version. Um, and then there'll be a keeper that'll go up. I've got to make a bracket and it'll sit up there. Again, you'll see that. Um, what else? Yeah, just rating my scrap offcuts to make all of this stuff up as you do. Good fun. So there we go. Got a little support there for the elevator control, just to eliminate any possibility of a side movement there. I got very enthusiastic with the elevator and rudder inputs when I had it all connected up, and there was no movement that that way that I could tell. But this just makes sure of that that there's no possibility ever. So that's just a little bracket that's mounted to the side stringers there. And then through there, that just stops it and supports it all. It was better than the arrangement I had before. So I feel much better now. So there's that. The rudder supports do the same job. And that's it for the elevator and rudder controls inside here. So we're all done, ready to go. Uh, there's a few panels down here I need to finish off down in the where the control column goes through. So we'll finish off this panel here and that one. And same with the front cockpit, will be the same. Go from the front. So this panel here needs to go down. Here. In the only carriage is that's the thing. I want it to stand really high and I want that wing there as it sits to sit around the 15 degree angle mark round about and I've worked it out that means this whole thing needs to go up a long way obviously that'll be eight feet I think the bottom of the fuselage will be three or four feet off the ground at that point so she's gonna stand stand uh, tall and proud but still thinking still thinking of what to do there whether to go bungees for suspension or whether to go shock struts so and how much works involved in each one hey afternoon from a very hot and a very humid queensland at the moment we had rain yesterday it was just awesome 
Anyway, quick update for the Frankenstein on for the weekend's work. Just before I have to start thinking about setting my alarm and going to work. Yay! So, this boys and girls, underneath all of the wrapping, is one Lycoming 0320. Perfect for the Frankenstein. It's um, had a good life. She ain't new. And she's had many an abusive owner. But it's mine. It's gonna be perfect. So, now we gotta start thinking about fitting that too. Once again, Dad, you're a dead set legend for coming up with this one. Coming across it. Absolutely perfect. My good mate, Paddy, let me borrow his engine frame uh, that he used for his pup so I can do something with that. So I've modified it a little bit and um, that's my firewall there. So I can now do a firewall forward package sort of thing. Obviously I have no room to fit an engine in this shed. So it's going to be modular now. So from here, it's got all the details I need to build the engine frame, uh, the engine mount, and then I can, from here, I can take markings and make a cowling as well, and then bolt her all together. Here, yeah, that's a theory anyway. So not too much done. I finally got around to finishing off the headrest there, so two little screws there and there, so I can pull that off and, I don't know, maybe a little compartment for my paperwork or something like that, I don't know. Um, headrest to come, so I've got to come up with something there. Got a few ideas, so we'll see what happens. Even though this piece was a fairly simple piece to make, just a flat sheet, nothing fancy about it, um, I still like to bevel the edges of everything. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it. See, I just sort of rolled those edges just to finish it all off. Like if I had a piece of tin, I don't know, can you see that? How it sits, sits out a little bit. It'd look a bit yuck. So it'd be sitting like that. You got that little edge there. So if you just spend the time and roll those edges in a little bit, and even on, on these edges here, you can still sort of see like a bevel I've put in there. So all of the skins have that bevel. It just finishes the edge off and meets the other skin, which makes it neat. You can just see that one as well. Rather than the skin fi um, finishing flat, it because a, a flat skin sort of sticks up a little bit. So I use here's my special tool. Here's this is my special tool. So all it is is a aircraft old aircraft bolt that I found and rejuvenated from the bin. I think this is off a of black hole. The nuts, I made up this little frame here. There's a little piece of stainless steel there which makes it slippery rather than just an aluminium block and two bearings. And that's set, I don't know, 35, 40 thou. Um, and the idea, I'll try and demonstrate. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Um, okay, little demo. So we just sit that on this on the sheet, and you got to put a bit of an angle on, and just roll it along. And you can see it puts that just a little bit of a crease in that. That's all it takes. sort of see that little edge there and that just makes that skin sit neatly against the, the other skin the next structure that's all so I I radiused these edges so that that edge there is the one that presses against the skin and, and it can leave a little bit of a mark there if, you, if it's really sharp so you either put a bit of tape on, radius that edge a little bit, take that sharp edge off, or something like that. But that's all. But yeah. Just the little details at the end makes all of the difference. 
this in here too. Makes all the difference. And it doesn't take extra, really. A couple more seconds on each panel. Hmm. So I got into the floor, and this is the pilot's compartment. Finished the ailer and bell crank. Uh, oh, where well, the pushrod tube goes through there, little panel. So that's all in now. And this panel's in as well. I've got to teach myself how to sew and make a bit of a boot over that one, probably over that one. And then it'll obviously be another one here and one in the front cockpit when I get around to that one too. So that's just something else to teach myself and Google about. Um, over this side here, I'm going to make an iPad mount Maybe a fold-out thing. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, sort of figured an iPad um, would be better than paper maps down in a open cockpit aeroplane. So, jury's still out on that one. I haven't quite nailed down what I want. Um, yeah, plastic dummy uh, stick. That's the shape then, everything that we want. So that's the concept. We just got to make it out of a different material now. So watch this space. Now the front cockpit, that panel inside there needs to go down. And in amongst that will be mountings for a fuel tank up underneath the instrument panel there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, instruments, speaking of. Thinking out loud. Master switch, ignition switch, oil pressure, uh, maybe RPM somewhere here. Slip ball, ASI, compass. Maybe an altimeter. That's it. Something like that. I don't know. That's what we're thinking. There's not much room in there, so... And that's fine. Happy with that. I sort of made sure I didn't have much room for instruments. Well, that's it for now. Still saving up for undercarriage bits. Nearly there. So I'm sort of looking forward to starting that. That'll be awesome. Until uh, next time, have fun.